certain suspicion that the doors can open again. <laughs> Dude, but you guys know what I mean, right? Yeah. Like the rock and roll party thing. It's so fucking awesome! I love it! I, I think there's nothing like, like, like get the blood pumping, forget about the guitar, the microphone scratches the strings, so be it. Goodness gracious. I like expressing emotions and feelings and thoughts publicly in front of strangers. I just feel like I'm always listening to whatever's around me in some way and reacting to it, trying to stay open, trying to keep everything moving kind of fluidly with as far as art goes. So I'm, I'm kind of always just waiting for the lucky moments. We had football outfits because my dad was a football coach. So we'd always get like new football outfits every few years or something. I wished I could like it, and I think that was my ultimate hate for it, was that I couldn't actually like it. <laughs> it's the idea of it was good, but then they really like banging into people. I think we're in Mississippi here, me and my little brother. I have a little pipe in my mouth. I think it's like the Mr. Potato Head pipe. Here's me in an awesome, awesome outfit with this crazy, shiny bowl cut. <laughs> we moved to California from, from three acres in Mississippi. So it's kind of like the Beverly Hillbillies, us coming to California, just really, really, really thick southern accents. Like, I would um, meet other kids at the pool, and they would ask me what my name was, and I would say, Cal, and they would say, Cal? Cal? I'd be like, Cal, Cal, Cal. And so I had to kind of learn how to alter my voice. This is your hometown. This is your hometown. This is your hometown. This is your Rolling up to my friend Rick Swan's house, really good buddy. Um, excellent embroiderist, musician. So here's Big Bear, Rick Swan. How's it going? Hi Rick, how are you? All right, how are you? How have you been? Well. Great, great. The house looks great. Thanks, we put it up. Just finished a few weeks ago. Huh? It's a lot nicer than the cave. Have you heard his new reggae album? Oh, dude, I wasn't looking. I'm sorry. Take okay. a loop-de-loop -loop to the left. Let's do this. You tell us how to get out of here, <laughs> and then you can play your Willie Nelson song. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, it's so Sorry, good. dude. I don't... <laughs> yeah, Willie, reggae, it's cool. Red-headed stranger. Yeah, left here. All right. That first concert, the thing about it was that I didn't know about music. I was really young. I'd never even heard of it. And when I first heard music, 
I flipped out. I'd never heard anything like it before. Calmly, quietly, come right up in the front seat for a while. The glamour that is golden in your smile will never ever fade. stay parked here so we don't have to pay for parking uh, again. Well, not all the way to Rivermouth, but we don't have to go all the way to Rivermouth. We could right. just go to the beach. Right. I don't know. Be we should just walk to the beach with your suit. Right. That'd be cool. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, I think surfing is is swimming in the ocean, which feels really good, and basically trying to synchronize your swimming and your movements with what's going on in the ocean as far as waves go. You can get so lost because it's it's water and everything is moving and everything is changing. So it's kind of like you're in this world that will never exist again because each wave is unique. I used to have a thinking problem. Now I just don't think you really have to stop your mind. Like they always talk about silencing your mind or something. I don't know if that works for everyone. My favorite top five songs at the moment are, and in no particular order, Blue Highway by Billy Idol. Um, left, correct? Yeah. Um, some song by Van Morrison. This is like my top five for right now. Like if we had to hear like five songs right now. I might hear um, Kisses on my list by Hollow Notes. I might hear Summer Breeze make me feel fine Blowing through shining in my mind. I would hear that. Seals and Cross. Let's go see what John's up to. Hey, hey. guys. How's it going? Kyle, how are you? Oh, great. How are you, John? Good. Hey, Desmond. Good to see you. Hey. Oh, sorry, my coffee here. Oh, I'm Dude. dead without my coffee. I feel like the first time I met you was in Santa Barbara at the living room. When well, the first time I met you was in San Luis. Well, I know, but, but the first time we like met, met. Yeah. Like we kind of met, in, I was working at a coffee shop. John was coming in to put <clears> up a flyer <throat> for his band. And I think there was a Dr. Seuss picture on the flyer. With the yeah. big plushy hat he's and on, the water whistle. Kid. He's only kidding. <laughs> Even definitely worse. not a hat like, and a whistle. <laughs> this for a t-shirt. For light green leaves. His music is really beautiful, and I think it's just, it's trendless, you know? And uh, it's timeless. And when I listen to it, I don't, it's hard for me to put my finger on any particular influences. He definitely has something special, and I think if you know Kyle as a person, too, it just comes through 
in the music, then again, they're just one and, one and the same. But I, I, it's good, good stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. This is fun. We're gonna go talk to everyone <clears throat> about me. <laughs> just kidding. Thanks, John. We're having some fun off the trips. Just... So sweet. What an inspiring family. Yeah. All right. Indeed. Kind of makes you want one of your own. I'm going to have one someday, I hope. What about you? I don't know. I've been thinking along those lines a little bit. I guess we got to find girlfriends first. Yeah. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> Hear it like a pounce upon a peak of a look at what the light did now. Bear it like a bounce upon the beak Oh, look at what the light did now Land and water and bird or beast Oh, look at what the light did now Shiny little band or golden fleece Oh, look at what the light did now 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 trying to think of what I thought little wings probably meant. And I was thinking that maybe, just my most recent thing was that maybe it was instructions or like a phrase that described how maybe I think of music or like the attention that I feel music deserves is the same as like looking at little wings, like, on a small bug or something. Bye, Ricker. You take it easy, huh? Likewise. And if it's easy, take it. Yeah, man. last is the hardest thing. Not really, but, you know, it's like the, 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 the people's ears. Very tired. <laughs> First Little Wings record was made in 98. A new record was made pretty much every year since then, I guess. The idea is for it just to keep writing songs and reapproach the way you make a record every time, which probably everyone does. 
the misty mountain harbor blanket bounty vine ten knuckles wrap around the nest I ride things to one to be easy until three for the bird with the cat is me <laughs> I messed it up I apologize if I am if I am in reaction doing a very unconventional show or whatever, but I won't play the dummy and I will not play the fool. I definitely go through phases of writing songs and then sometimes I get worried because I don't have any new songs coming, but they haven't completely ever ceased to come yet, so. recorded the second half of Grow in one night with two other friends. Lee, are you home? Hi, Freedom. Where's Lee? They might have gone out together. He and, uh, he and Denise. This is the kind of their practice room, where, and we've we, didn't, we never really practiced that much. We would just kind of get ready if we were going to do a tour. Here's my bass amp. I keep this here. Dear Lee, Denise, and Henry, we stopped by, but you were gone. Sorry we came a day late. Got hung up in Ventura a bit. Much love. See you around Thanksgiving. Had fun snooping around. Love, Kyle. Dear Blaine and Nat, Natalie, stopped by on my way home to, in San Francisco. I'm living there now. Before Little Wings, my first musical venture was in a band that we formed in my parents' garage. It was called Rodriguez. Matt Ward was the person that I formed the band with, who now performs under the name M. Ward. I learned a lot about music from him. When a power comes to me from a source I cannot see, I'll plant seeds and watch them die. I'll bring honey from on high. And I'll leave hey, buddy. Hey. How's it going? Good. Say hi to Kyle. It's Kyle. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, when'd you get that fin? That, that came on it. Oh, really? I haven't even touched it. Is that what he gave you? Yeah. Uh -huh. I haven't even moved it. I haven't yeah. done anything. This is one of the finest <laughs> surfboards in California. I, oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lottie. It's all right. This is the train rage drawing of maybe, I think it's kind of a self-portrait where my eyes look really angry and I'm kind of submerged in water. So you're leaving tonight? Probably gonna leave around five. Oh, uh, five. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. When does Hillary get home? Like eight? Uh, like six, I think. Uh huh. But I'm gonna be coming back through near Thanksgiving. Are you guys gonna be down south, or do you know? No, I think we're gonna be I'm here. Gonna be around. Yeah. Okay. We should try and surf. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Ah. Say bye to Uncle Kyle. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. And night in this city is upon us And all the rooftops want us 
If in time we don't speak anymore, you'll still feel me outside your door. I like songs for predicting the future, because I feel like they're subconscious. I have a new song called Freebird, and it's about leaving your home to go out into the world and hopefully find your next home because the only reason you left was because the last one wore itself out or you, you had to move on. In a darkened car, you are only who you say you are. In a darkened car, you are only who you say you are. I just spent about a year traveling, and I, this is my first room that I've had in a year. And the song says, I'll become a tree bird, someday you'll see me singing from my tree. And so I'm thinking of this room as my tree house now, in that song, so I can kind of use the songs as a scrapbook or a measuring stick for direction or where I'm headed. It seems like I've, it's come true, like the wish of the song has finally come true. Sometimes the truth takes a long time to come out, but it's worth it. In a darkened car, you're only who you say you are. If in time we don't speak anymore, you'll still feel me outside your door.